Hello everybody, Samson here. Welcome back to another episode of The Ferret Business. So guys, last episode, we traded in a ton of bags, made a ton of cash. Like, look at this, guys. We got like three or two and a bit of stacks of stuff. Like, dude, we're super rich. Like, don't even worry about it, man. We got so much money. Crazy. Alright, so I also want to do is add another solar panel. So, I was thinking about it. I'm like, do I need to add another... Uh, cable and hmm looks like I might so they do transfer power through like one another but it's not it's not super efficient to be honest it's it's not super amazing so we're up to six of these um, hooking a cable up to the bottom of them is way better there we go see it's pulling all the power yeah that's how you want to do it right there because uh, that transferring from each other just I think it was waste stuff so we're gaining power, 56 RF per tick right now. I do have this. Whoops. <laughs> ah, Bell. Give me that back. Give me, it, give, all right. <laughs> Bell. So I do have this paused right now. It's not hurting anything. I have it turned off as far as like disconnected from power. Just as this builds up a little bit more juice, our system here is done. Except for I'm making up some some glass. Let's stick the rest of our sand in here. Good amount of glass. Because I wanted to get into compact machines today, and it seems like you need glass for that. So, yeah, it's a thing. Also, look at this, guys. I made 64 crates full of lead with all the ore we were processing. We had so much lead. Like, if you guys were, uh, like, seeing the mines, if you go down deep in the mines, you get a ton of silver and lead. We're not, we don't need a ton of lead for anything, as far as I know. So... Or at least we don't need as much as we need to hand in a bunch of quests full of stuff. Supply quests. Uh, so I think it's... Let's see. Uncommon, right? Yeah. Okay. So let's submit. Wow. Okay. Maybe I should put this onto like a thing and like submit it that way I don't know I'm gonna sit here and click this a bunch of times it's not super amazing how much money are we up to oh my gosh okay we only got two more dude I'm like a super fast clicking guy oh is it two crates per okay it's two crates per so we click 32 times wow we're up to like 62 shit and a whole bunch of money that's not too bad uh so these are our singles yeah let's combine these to the better tier and go through the process a little bit let's grab all this stuff we'll just combine these up right now and go for something a little bit better right oh ho, ho. we're up to a ooh, we're up to a 64 Nice. What could a 64 get us? Like that seems like a pretty significant, like, milestone. 26 gold. Okay, it's not that amazing. But we can get like a whole bag. I think which is 60. I don't even know how much is in a bag. If you guys know how much is in a bag, let me know. Is that like 64 monies in a bag? Yeah. Anyway, we'll just keep saving up our our trading stuff here. And yeah, we should be good. Also, you know what? Let's totally convert this over to bills. Dollar dollar bills. Uh, let's see. Give me all your sand. Okay. We are going to... You guys are going to do alloys. I'm going to give you this. And make us money. Paper money. Keeps throwing in stacks of it. And it converts it all over. And we are out of t the tokens. That's pretty good. And very good. Okay, cool. So we're up to, oh my gosh, guys. 38 more monies. Are you kidding me? Dude, is there a way to, like, upgrade these? Is there, is there a use? Can we, can, we, can we find a way to do this? Is this a thing that can happen? If we go to the hardware store. What? Oh, we can buy some of this stuff. Okay. We can pick either shiny, diamond, or emerald. Okay, cool. General store. Is this what I want to do? Yeah, general store in here. Okay. Uh, if we, for this, we need shop and 64 exchange token tin. Oh, that's the reward. Okay. Are we there yet? Oh, my gosh. We got to do so much more training. 
Tin tier is 100. Iron tier. So we're still over at the wood tier. How do we how do we get this to be better? Submit 10 coins and get this. Uh, bagging. 50 silver coins to a bag. Okay. 25 vouchers for one basic blind bag. See, that seems like a bit of a ripoff to me. 50 for an ender pearl, which could be pretty good, or an ethereal bloom. This is done. So how do we earn reputation? So now that you've made a good number of purchases and, and voucher exchanges, you'll reach, uh, you've reached the tin tier of my rewards program. Vouchers will now only cost nine silver coins instead of ten. Oh. Okay. So let's see. So we need to do some exchanging or some purchasing. All right, so in the armament shop, maybe we could like use one of these green heart, miniature green heart for 150 vouchers. Woo! Yeah, we ain't even anywhere near that. Maybe we could just buy some yellow right or something like that. That might not be a bad option later on, or some iron or or something like that, and see if that uh, affects our our current rating. So our current rating is at 5. We need to get it up to 50. Okay, let's let's just, for the sake of experimentations, let's look at purchasing something and figure out how all this works. We go into the hardware store. I know that we're going to need more yellow, right? Okay, let's submit the 15 vouchers. Let's grab one of these. Let's claim it. So if I click it, I get two yellow right ore. That's not terrible, which I can process down to be like four, I guess. Four ingots of yellow right, right? So that should bring us up to 13. Yeah. Hey, that's not too bad. And did that affect our current rating? Uh, is that not what I want? Right here. Six. Okay, so that counted as one. Oh, so I guess if we wanted just to try and get to the better tier of money making, we could just straight up go to the hardware store and do like a ton of these and just get a whole bunch of iron and then kind of like ship it back to the thing. Could this be like a crazy money loop thing? Nah, I doubt they they, they did that. Supply crates. We would need two full crates of it for three coins oh yeah no that's not even close okay very interesting so well we figured out how to get kind of on our way I guess maybe we should work towards getting some of this going on so let's do a little bit of maths here we need six of these each of these is one of those and one of those so it means we need six of these and six of these so we need six pistons and some redstone and a bunch more redstone and more pistons, so it's three, three per, so each of these is eight redstone. Oh, I don't think we have enough redstone. We might have to hit the mines and do a little bit of redstone make getting. Gold, iron, we have eight gold, I'm sure. Uh, and stone and cobble and all that stuff with iron's not a problem. Well, I guess let's see how far in we can get. So we're going to need, oh, we're going to need to sleep. Whoa, we just did a little bit of a glitch there. That was weird. We need a ton of glass. We're going to need all the redstone that we can muster up. We only have 18, I do believe. Maybe we could purchase some redstone. I don't know if that's a good idea. Um, let's see. It doesn't look like we have any other hiding around. Uh, we need a bunch of iron. So we got iron right here. Let's get that. Let's grab a little more glass. And we already have three of these atomic shrinking things from our little cool bag things. So, and we have one of these world resizers. Okay, so that reduces our cost a little bit. Um, so we need three more of these, which means we need sticky pistons. Okay, we have, hold on. Yeah, we have rubber. We can do this. We also need wood and we need cobblestone. I need to make, let's see, five of those minus three of these is ten. 
Minus three. Seven. Seven pistons? Is that correct? I feel like that's correct. What's going on? Okay, I need some wood. Uh, some of this, some of this, some of this, and kabam! Seven pistons. Okay. Uh, is that right? I don't think that's right, because we need five of those, right? Which would be that, plus, we're, we're short one piston. Okay, hold on. Make one more of those. Let's make up the three more of these if I can. So, one, two, three. Very cool. And Kablamo? Yeah, all right, we got three of those. Oh, wait, crud, we didn't need three. We only need five. Oh, no, fail. Okay, that's all right. Uh, I can make two of these, and I'm out of what? Redstone. All right, well, I guess we figured out how close we can get. What about this? We're out of redstone. Guys, we got to go to the mines. Well, let's put all our money away. Let's put... Let's see, this is our active... Maybe this will be our active project chest. Let's take this... Take these, put these in our money stuff over here. Put all this away. Keep our book on us. And 32 torches, a little bit of this. Maybe a little iron here, do some repairs. And we should be good to hit the mines up, get some redstone. Yeah, seems good to me. Very nice. Oh, I did upgrade my shovel to iron. Uh, and I put a little bit of haste on it just to make it faster. Mining speed's 10, not terrible. And do I have any other modifiers left on this bad boy? No, I don't. But I did get uh, reinforced on it. Yeah, okay. So, hmm, we still have our field hammer. Yeah, we're good to go. Let's go down here, see if we can get some redstone real quick. Shouldn't be too bad, guys. I mean, okay, I don't know what your guys' strategy normally is for redstone, but mine is normally go as deep as you possibly can and just go straight, and the majority of what you'll find is redstone. It, it works pretty good for me. I'll be able to demonstrate it a little bit here. So, let's see. This is the stairs. You know what? Let's just go right like this. Let's go this way. We'll go down and uh, try and hit the lowest point we can. Because we're still up pretty high. We're up le Y level 12. We can stand to go a fair bit lower. Okay, here's some bad things in here. Not a big fan of bad things. More lead. Man, lead is just everywhere down here. No, but now that we can trade it in for monies, not a bad thing. Not a bad thing at all. Okay, well, I level 5 is usually about as deep as I want to go because we hit bedrock like this. But, man, I hear lots of badness. Are we going to, like, totally run into, like, a... Yep. Okay, we are taking a detour this way. Please keep all your hands and feet and tentacles and other things inside the vehicle at all times because we are trying not to be dead. That's, that's pretty much the gist of it here. We need redstone, and we are hit dirt. Give me redstone. Give me redstone. Okay, guys, I'm going to do a little bit of mining. I will bring you guys back. Ooh, diamonds. Okay, guys, we're back. I just wanted to show you the effectiveness of this, so I went all of that far. You can see the end right there. That's actually lava. I have 400 bit stacks of redstone. Pretty effective stuff, going all the way down to the, the deepest level. I mean, anyone that's played Minecraft for an extensive period of time, dude, you already know how to get redstone. You guys are pros. You guys are probably better at this than I am. Like, no, I'm, Not that I'm even a pro. Because if you guys are already professionals, then you're already better than me, so don't even worry about it. But anyway, good tip. If you guys are wondering about ways to get redstone, go down there. I never played much vanilla, being honest here, guys. Never played much vanilla played a tiny bit of it way way back like right now what is what's the current minecraft version like 1.9 i think it was like 1.2 or 4 back when i used to play vanilla because that was really all there was there wasn't a lot of mods back then um yeah it's pretty much what happened uh was there was no mods that's how you played the game it was fun i enjoyed it Mods came out, realized it was a far superior experience for myself. Not saying it's for everybody, because it's certainly not. But for myself, I enjoyed it better. Thus, that's what I play. So, there we go. That's a little bit of a rundown for you guys. Got a bunch of stuff here. Um, let's put away all this extra stuff. Are we out of space? Huh. 
Don't need a tiny potato. Goodbye, tiny potato. I said, I said goodbye, sir. Good day. Okay. Let's grab all of this stuff that we were using and come back over to our crafting area. Okay, so we needed a bunch more of these. Am I correct? Am I thinking five more of those? Yes. And five more of those. Uh-huh. Okay. And we need a diamond, which I just put away. Give me the give me the diamond. Thank you very much. I will take it. Great. And not what I needed to make. With this guy right here. Ho ho ho, we have it. Finally, we are going to make the tiny compact machine. Of course, I just realized I don't have the shrinking device to get into the tiny machine, but we're not going to worry about that right now. Minor technical. I don't even worry about it. Pshh. Okay, so if I start this with iron. What? No. I am feeling the dumbness. Is there a way to, like, undo this or something? Like, can I, like, choose to untiny this? Can I unassemble you? Is this a thing I can do? Can I put you in a crafting grid and... Oh, no! I made the... I thought they stacked. I thought you had to, like, craft the small one and put the small one in the thing. Nope. Well, we have a tiny room. Not very amazing. We could have gone straight up to the big one with obsidian. Or the giant one with diamonds, dude. We have a lot of diamonds. I would have definitely made the diamond one. Can't go nether star. A little out of our our, uh, our range here. But you know what? We grabbed a bunch more stuff. Maybe we can make more? We have 15 gold. You know what? Let's try to make another one. You only level once, right? Okay, let's make... We need... We need pistons. We need six and six we need more than we currently have I think we were short on this uh, we need one more piston there we go okay cool piston problem taken care of because we're awesome like that uh, let's make six of these sticky pistons right do I have any more rubber anywhere yes I do because I'm prepared that's right, okay. Uh, uses. Let's... Oh, goodness. Oh, oh, oh. I want to make you. Yes, I do. Okay. One, one, two, three, four, five, six. Very good. And we got to make... Some of these. Six of those. Apparently we had one left over and I messed it up again. Oh, okay, whatever. It's all good. And now I can make another one of these. Or no, I can make this. Okay. And I can make another one of these. I can. And we'll go straight to obsidian. Which, in my opinion, is a lot cheaper than diamonds. Like, a lot cheaper than diamonds. Which is weird because it makes a better, a better thing. But, whatever. I ain't gonna judge. And kablammo. Big. Uh, now, how do we make a personal shrinking device? Personal shrinking device. Personal shrinking device. Diamonds. Two more of those. Nether quartz. Redstone. I feel like this is very doable. We have lots of redstone, iron, wood, cobbled stone stuff, things. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Feeling good about it. What is this? Personal safe. Industrial craft. Trade-o-matic. What are, what are these mystical things okay so we need a couple more of those are we out of gold we got a little bit of gold okay let's see what we can do here guys i'm gonna need diamonds i think right diamonds are a minecrafter's best friend okay uh we need oops nope 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 pistons pistons we need three right uh Okay, and this is the one with a sticky, right? We just need one of these. Uh, and we need another one of these. And we need... Whoops, not that. Two more of these guys. And we'll need two of these. And we'll need to grab some quartz. Which I stuck somewhere. Oh, not, not glowstone. Sorry, glowstone. Not today. 
We did need you the other day, but not at this moment. Yes, personal shrinking device. Okay, sorry, I got a little excited there. Ooh, okay. We got a tiny one and we got a big one. Where are we putting these? These are okay, if you don't know what these guys are, prepare to be amazed. Okay. Hmm. Where are we gonna put this? Maybe right here in the corners? For the moment? Okay, check it out, guys. Let's look at the small one. So we're currently traveling into the cube. Downloading terrain, creating a whole new dimension. That is the inside of this cube. It is a 3x3 three three cube. Not very amazing. I have no idea what we'll use this for because it's tiny and I don't... I don't even know. Well, let's leave. Can we... Can we get up? Okay, there we go. We don't click on the side, we just click and we go out. And I'm not going to be in a wall, hopefully, and we're good. Nice. I guess I returned to exactly the location that I left. Spawn point sent to current location. What? Okay. And let's check out the the large, the giant one. Is this giant? Giant, right? I think that's the, the name of the one that we are doing. Whoa. Oh my word. This is amazing. Dude, we could stick our smeltery in here. We could have a gigantic generator in here. Oh my gosh, that's an amazing idea. And it wouldn't take up anything but a block. Okay, let's get out of here. Again, downloading terrain, kablamo. That's amazing. So it can transfer water and RF right through the sides of this. If we stuck this over here, we could plop it down right here and have it spitting power up. Oh, I spit a little bit there myself. Uh, spitting power out and creating, speaking of which, we are full. Let's turn this, can we turn this guy on, please? Nope, apparently we can't do it that way. Let's go old school. Bust and replace. Bam! Okay, so apparently we could build a giant reactor inside here, and it would be amazing and awesome, and we could, like, put it down and then have it only take up one block and not the whole block, and we could have, like, all this stuff in our house, and it would be amazing! So cool. Okay. We could even set up all our ore processing and stuff in there. Oh my gosh, that'd be so neat. It's like, oh, what's that little block in the corner? Well, actually, that's in my entire workshop. So instead of building more floors, like, building more floors to our base, we could just totally have more compact machines everywhere. So the only thing we couldn't do is put solar panels in there, because there's no light. So I don't think it would work inside there that way. But we could do a giant, like, big reactor in there, which would be really cool. Um, we could set up, like, the five-stage mechanism processing inside one of those. That would be awesome. Like, it's so tall, we could even, like, build multiple floors and stuff. That's nice. Again, small one. I'm not really sure what to use it for. If you guys have any good suggestions on what I can do with this tiny little one, let me know in the comment section. I'd love to hear from you guys. You guys are so smart. You know what, should, what I should be doing, what's up. And let's put this stuff away. Put our diamonds away. Put uh, some of this stuff away. Put some of this glass away over here. And our lead and our other stuff that's over here. Yes. And maybe start cooking up some of this. Sure. Cook some silver. Awesome. But that is going to be everything for this episode, guys. Thank you so much for coming by. If you liked the video, guys, please give me some uh, pushing of the button that is the like. Yes. That's what I'm looking to say. Hit that like button, guys, if you enjoyed the video. If you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe. We'd love to have you guys as part of our community here. And as always, thank you for watching, and we'll talk to you guys later.